Hey, what's up, guys? Petey Maxi 458 here. I mean, dang, I'm so used to saying that. Hey, what's up, guys? Maximus Play is here, and welcome to Creative City. So this is a sorry for. Well, first, of, first things first. I'm sorry for the lack of videos lately. I injured myself pretty bad, so I've just been resting. But starting today, there'll be videos frequent like they used to be. And yeah, so this video is a update video on the Creative City Airport. Uh, so I have been doing, I have done a lot of work to it. Um, I changed a couple of things, added some stuff. But okay, here's, I'm, I think I'm around 25% done. But okay, here is what I have so far. So it probably doesn't look that different. Um, but first things first, I did take away the big underpass things. I, I started not like that, but I also added these light poles all around the edging of it. Um, so over here, I completely. Uh, dug out the grass and put uh, concrete, I mean not concrete, uh, what is this, chiseled stone bricks to um, do like a little nice walkway there. This is where you would sit down and eat or talk to your friends or something while waiting at the airport. Um, over here on this side is the free to speak zone. You gotta have a free to speak zone I guess. And I fixed this. I didn't have a fence here. Uh, but I, uh, I put black stained glass. And I also put black stained glass around here too. And the same over here. I also added two new fountain things. I added uh, one here and the one on the opposite side right here. And I also, I think I showed you guys the last video. But I did put artificial trees here. But I uh, over here in the, oh, hold on, let me get this real quick. I, I knew I forgot something, but I thought I did Okay, so this is the parking lot, like, the, this is the parking lot finished. So, got the nice light poles here, got some flowers and, uh, closed, and I think I'm gonna change this to black stained glass, too. Um, yeah, nice little parking lot. You got the borders. Um, over here, like the VIP parking garage, I um, outlined the windows with a uh, quartz slab. And same thing down here. These are quartz blocks. And I did uh, fix this a bit. And I did edit this a bit too. Yeah, I think I'm going to change all the iron bars to black stained glass. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So, um, for the rest of the outerior, I also um, outlined the windows. And I removed one of the layers with uh, quartz stairs. So I did that. I also did the corners too. So I did the same thing on every window. You got that window, that window, which I still have to do. I won't do that on camera though. Same over here. Um, this is something new, so I'll get to this in a little bit. And yeah, this is for the inside thing. There's a conduit in there, just for a specific reason. Okay, so that's done. We're done with the outside, so let's head on on the inside. Well, let's get it focused. There we go. Okay. So, I emptied out this room. There was a long wooden thing here, but I emptied it out because I just wanted to and I didn't think it looked good. I'm also thinking I'm going to do a little bit more decoration in here. Um, I added like these little TVs here on the sides. Um. I did tear down these buildings over here. I don't know if you guys saw them, but there's two buildings there and a building here. I did tear them down. Um, I did some working on the 
stairs slash escalators, you know, look nice, put lights around, borderline the, the thing with quartz, and uh, made an elevator. Uh, so, okay, so you got the lava, the, the magma block that'll bring you down, and you got the soul sand that'll bring you up. So, when you're going up, just head up up in here. And the conduit, I made it to where you can breathe underwater, just to make it safe and stuff. Uh, this is the upstairs. Oh, if you see the screen going in and out of darkness and light, it's because the conduit effect is about to wear off. And it gives you, um, uh, night vision. So, I did edit the, the es escalator stair part up here, too. I made it black stained glass, and I added... Some birch wood planks and some quartz blocks. And over here is where you go when your plane number gets called. When you walk over to the terminals. So you go down here. You got one area here. We go out to the plane. One there. One there. And one there. But basically only two of them are filled in. So that one will be filled in. And this one or this one. One of these two will be filled in. But that one will be filled in. These two. And this is where all out here is where the plane and runways are and runways are gonna be in the, the watchtower. So as you can see I already started to dig out a portion of the area to fill in with uh, concrete. Man, this is gonna take me forever. And I also uh, added more support beams. Why is that like that? I'm confused. For some reason. That is there. But yeah, I added more support beams along the side. Uh, this I have to make a lot better. And that's pretty much it. Like, a lot of- most of this took a while, especially, uh, adding the little details and the new fountain and the digging stuff out, replacing things. Oh, I also got fill in the roof. Well, that's everything that changed with uh, the Creative City Airport, and nothing has changed with Creative City so far. Everything stayed the same. I'm 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 basically maining the uh, the airport right now. Oh, oh oh yes, something is changing. Yes. Over here is going to be where the villagers live. I already got a little bell thing going on in there. And over here, this is just to uh, lead me to the nether portal. The nether portal is going to be the factory. Where like, all the blocks I've used in the town, in the, I mean in the city, will come from the nether portal. Ah, <sighs> man, it's a long way, but there it is. So... This is actually going to be the factory. I got to make it look a, little, a lot better. But. If you go in here. You got the nether portal. And I found the castle. And I built a nice looking uh, nether portal. I think it looks nice. Some people might not. And I filled along. The lava with glass and stuff. And then once you go along the inside of the bridge, it'll lead to the castle. Where this is going to be the the factory and plus other things. And yeah. So there you guys have it. The update on Creative City and mainly the Creative City Airport. So, thank you guys for waiting up on me. Thank you for the 20th subscriber. We are now at 20 subscribers, so thank you guys for that. Um, and please leave a like, a comment, share to your friends. And remember to follow me on my major social medias. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook if you want. I don't really use it, but I also have everything linked to where I uh, post on all of it at the same time. And go follow me on Twitch. I live stream there. Twitch.tv slash pbmaxi458. Please subscribe if you have not. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.